So I think 2018 will continue. Yeah, I think there's strong interest. There are new investors coming to the market from Japan and Australia. So I think the capital markets uh, momentum will, will continue in, in, in Germany. Um, we will see uh, uh, you know, a lot of interest uh, from uh, international investors, but also G uh, German investors. Um, I think the, the, the question though is, you know, will we continue to have as much product as we have seen this year? Yeah? I think at the moment it looks so, uh, that we will continue to have uh, so much product. I think interesting sectors next year are clearly offices because of the low vacancy rates in a number of the top seven cities. Yeah? So for a lot of investors this is interesting because you will for the first time see significant rental growth, yeah, which also supports uh, the low yields that we are currently seeing. Yeah? Um, so I think that's that's a key trend. Yeah, on the retail side, s people are very selective on what they are buying because there is a general f uh, overlay of of the fee of online um, retail. Yeah, uh, but I think this is clearly an opportunity for a lot of investors that understand where the risks are really and 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 what what to buy in this uh, kind of context. Yeah, logistics will continue to be um, an interesting market. Uh, residential, uh, clearly, the development in in, in that uh, area is 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 uh, that we will continue to have a high demand. Yeah, so we need something like four hundred thousand flats every year, but only two hundred seventy thousand are built. So we will continue to see that um, uh, rental prices, but also prices for apartments, will 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 increase next year.